Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Woman recounts moment man fell into flooded gully. A man was reported that swept away by flooded waters after falling into a gully on Coley Smith Drive in the vicinity of First Street in St. Andrew on Friday night. Miss Starr, the operator of the shop that sells chicken and chips, chicken neck and chicken back, said she sold him some item after 8 o'clock last night and he told her he was heading back home. The man whom she said was with a little boy when he came by is one of his regular customers. Miss Starr said thankfully the little boy did not fall into the gully with him. Miss Starr noted that she was traumatized by the incident, recounts what happened and her desperate attempts to get help for the man. According to Miss Starr, the man had not yet been found. Men threatened staff at hospital in Clarendon when arrested so far. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has received a report from the Southern Regional Health Authority of vandalism and threats by visitors of the Lionel Town Hospital in Clarendon. The incident comes months after a nurse was attacked and injured in another incident at a hospital in the same parish. The Ministry empathetically denounced this type of behaviour from users and visitors of this and other public health facility. Persons who displayed these types of behaviour will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, said the Health Ministry in a release. According to reports received, men visiting a patient at the Lionel Town Hospital who subsequently passed began to behave violently, destroying hospital furniture and threatening the members of staff. The incident was reported to the Lionel Town Police and one of the men was arrested, even as staff members continued to receive threats. The hospital management is in dialogue with the police to increase their presence at the facility while investigations are ongoing the release from the health ministry stated. The ministry reminds users and visitors of the public health facility that they must observe the charter of rights and responsibilities. Users of the public health facilities have the responsibility to treat hospital staff and fellow patients with respect, to display proper behavior, and refrain from using abusive language while in care, and to protect hospital property and comply with the dress code. The ministry, through the Southern Regional Health Authority, will continue to offer support to the affected staff members at the Lionel Town Hospital and operations at the facility will continue uninterrupted. Too early to call. The National Works Agency NWA and Jamaica Public Service JPS said on Saturday afternoon that it was way too early to attach a monetary value to damage associated with the torrential rainfall that the island experienced between Wednesday and Friday night. Communications manager at the NWA Stephen Shaw told reporters on Saturday that rural St. Andrew and St. Thomas were badly impacted compared to other parishes. The areas impacted have been affected by landslides, falling trees, and we had areas that were flooded island-wide. The assessment continues. We will have a better idea of the cost in terms of damage in the week, Shaw explained. Wilson Callum, Director of Corporate Communications at JPS, said on Saturday that the utility company was not in a position to say definitely what the cost of the damage to the network was. JPS issued a press release on Saturday which stated that the teams were continuing efforts to restore supply to customers affected by power outages caused by the recent persistent heavy rain. The release said that some customers lost supply as the electricity grid was negatively impacted by landslides, trees falling on lines, and dislocated poles. While several communities across the island have been affected, the majority of customers currently without electricity are in the parishes of Kingston and St. Andrew and St. Catherine. JPS is projecting that most of these customers will have their services restored as soon as possible. However, it may take longer to get to some areas because of the challenges, terrain and limited access. Several communities, particularly in rural St. Andrew, have been affected by widespread landslides, which are restricting access and slowing down restoration efforts. JPS is reminding members of the public to stay away from falling poles and broken power line and to take every precaution to keep themselves and their family members safe. On Saturday, down utility poles and block roads were the main feature in some communities such as Jacks Hill St. Andrew. According to Jacks Hill resident Billy Bones, the community was battered by the rain. We get a leak, the road mash up, a pure landslide, some people house tear away at the road named 13th Street, light pole drop down and we not have no light. From the rain start, the transformer leak out, all tourists drop up here, he said, pointing to down trees and debris that block many sections of the roadway from Skyline Drive to Jacks Hill Road. Elder farmer Gladstone Clark said that he has lived in the community of Jacks Hills for multiple decades 
and it was the first it was seen so many landslides and roads been blocked by debris. We get a whole heap of blockage as you see. Around us on the road there so is landslide. Further around from there, water dig up the road. Even vehicles got trapped around there by city view. I cultivate planting, kungo peas and yam. I lost three roots of planting so far, based on my assessment. I am here from 1980 and it's the first time I'm experiencing this kind of blockage. I never experienced that before. I don't know if it happened and I don't see it, but it's the first. I am wondering if it was because of the earth tremor. Clark said in reference to the recent magnitude 5.6 earthquake that Jamaica experienced. Another resident, Richie, emerged from his house with a gas cylinder and told reporters that he changed his mind when he realized the road was blocked. I was planning to go to Barbican site to get some cooking gas, but I can't right now because the road is blocked. I have to just wait until it's clear. Luckily, I have another cylinder with a little bit of gas in it, so I can cook until the road is clear, Richie stated. According to Benedict Parks, a resident of 13th Street, debris from the landslide impacted his yard and damaged some of his crops. In Garden Town and Mavis Bank, there were also similar landslides and road blockage. Downpours, inundated boats, sink one, leaving fishers for monks. Fishermen at the Greenwich Town fishing village in St. Andrew were taken by surprise by heavy rainfalls, which flooded several of their vessels on Thursday night, with one sinking after taking in huge volume of water. Despite being aware of the meteorological service of Jamaica placed the island under tropical storm watch at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the fishermen told reporters that they did not expect the heavy rains to start so soon. Earlier, all parishes have been placed under flash flood warning amid a broad era of low line pressure across the southwestern Caribbean that has been producing a large number of cloudiness with showers and thunderstorms. The fishermen, however, while indicating that they had secured their boats and equipment in the village, were stumped by the amount of rain that fell on Thursday. Garrett, a veteran fisherman, who was seen eating his lunch on the tree on Friday, said, We take it serious, but we never look for it start so early, so heavy last night, so we never expect so much water. He said that several boats were flooded, noting that one colleague's boat sank after taking in much water. The boat was recovered on Friday. It was pulled apart to have the water drained from the crucial part such as the engine, which was observed nearby, pulling up a piece of wood. Gar theorized that it would cost the owner a significant sum to have the engine removed and repair, and to purchase some of the replacement parts damaged by the water. In the meantime, he was anxiously waiting for normal weather conditions to be restored so that he could resume his livelihood and care for his children. Another fisherman, Errol Wilson, said the bad weather dealt with them severely. It bad bad man, nobody can go see. This affect we livelihood, and we can't go nowhere for boat. We have to watch, we make sure say them are right, he stated. Noting that the sea had been rough since Thursday, Wilson said his colleagues had started taking precautionary measures even before the weather alert was issued, as a fisherman, who he claimed was one who read the weather, had warned them on Monday that something major was coming. Like his colleagues, Wilson was awaiting for heavy rains as there was nothing else to do. In the meantime, a few vendors who were out said that the business was very slow, but not unexpectedly. Hardly any customers were seen when reporters visited the area, but the vendors indicated that they had been able to secure a few seals. At the same time, Latana Lindsay shared, from the week start, I saw it slow, and today it even more slow. However, another vendor said that sales have been significantly low over the past few weeks because several customers have stopped visiting the fishing village because of the flare up of violence in the nearby Greenwich Town community. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and